Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jamie Fenn. And today I present to you the juiciest color change effect that you could probably ever do in DaVinci Resolve. And you can even do it in the free version, which is insane. Now you will need to download a free plugin called Proto. This was designed by Patrick Sterling, who also gave some input on this tutorial on the back end. So thank you so much, Patrick. Make sure to go support him. Links down in the description. Shout out to another Patrick. He hit me up and asked me if I could do this effect. He recorded the footage, sent it to me, which is also available for free download in the description. So once you've downloaded the plugin and the footage, you can follow along. The footage you download will be this clip right here. So once you've downloaded it and then drag it and drop it into your timeline, what you want to do is duplicate that and then go over to your color tab. So then come down here to the qualifier and we are going to isolate the red. I'm clicking and dragging over the car. And if you want to see what you are selecting as far as the color, come up here to this little wand. Then what we want to do is click on this little eyedropper with the plus because we just want to add more color and we basically kind of just want to get a good selection of all of the red on the car. Then down here we want to turn up the clean black just a tiny amount. And then click on number two and turn up the denoise. Then as you can see, there's some selection back here that's actually really tough to get rid of. So in order to get rid of that, we want to come down here to the window, select the pen tool, and click around the car. I'm going to turn up this soft one just a little bit. Then I'm going to do Alt T on my keyboard. And this is going to track forward a little bit. Then I'm going to track backwards here in this tracker window. Then right click in the node viewer here and select add alpha output. Then connect the blue square of that node to the alpha output here. Then what you want to do is select the color of the car that you want it to change to. So I'm going to select this really cool blue, green, teal kind of look. Now if you want, you can come back here and you can kind of look at your selection. This is, this is pretty good for the tutorial for the time being, but depending on your footage, you can refine the key. So then once you hop back into the edit tab, what you want to do is select both of the clips, right click and select new fusion clip, then select fusion. Let's go ahead and put the media two up here like so. Keep the media in one right here. And what we're going to first do is add another merge node after this merge node. Then select anywhere here in the node viewer and hold down shift and press space bar and type in proto. And just a reminder, you do have to download this. It's super easy. All you do is download it, double click it, you're ready to go. So once you've done that, connect the proto effect to the merge node. Then connect the media in two to the proto v2 effect. Ooh, it's looking pretty cool already. Come to the beginning of the clip and I'm going to play it through a little bit. And that is where I want the effect to start to come onto the car. So with the playhead right where it is, I'm going to come down here and select anywhere here in the node viewer, select a rectangle, and then connect the rectangle to the merge node. I'm going to pull this out of frame. I'm going to resize it so it's bigger than the car. I'm going to move it right here, and I'm also going to add some rotation to it. So I'm going to line this up with the angle of the car. Then I'm going to come over here and turn up the soft edge a little bit and also turn up the border width. Select the center X and Y keyframe. Move my playhead towards the end of the clip. And I'm going to pull this over the car. Then once you've done that, you want to right click on the rectangle, select copy, then right click here and select paste instance. Connect that paste instance to the merge node. With the instance rectangle node selected, you want to come up here to the solid where the check mark is, right click on that and select D instance. Let's go ahead and turn off the solid. Now we're starting to see the effect come to life, but we need to make a few adjustments. Let's go ahead and select the Proto V2 effect and up here on the right hand side where you see user, 
you have all these different looks and cool little presets that we can select that you can basically customize to your own taste. So I'm gonna actually just go with, uh, let's say lava. I'm gonna come over here to the controls. And the first thing I like to do, since the effect kind of has like this obvious glow that's where the wipe is, I wanna turn down the glow size and also turn down the glow blur size. Now you can play around with this. There's a lot you can do. You can change the core size, but I'm gonna turn down the core size blur because I really want the definition of this effect to kind of come through as this wipe is happening. You can play with the scale of the core size. You can change the X strength so you can make it look really, really cool like that. I think when you start to really play with these sliders, you get some really cool looking effects. So I'm just gonna keep it about right there. All right. Next, what you wanna do is drag the media out over here so we can make some room for another merge node. Let's go ahead and add a new merge node, drag and drop it down in between the merge two and the media out by holding shift and just dragging it on top of that line. Then what you wanna do is click on the media in two, right click, select copy, then come over here and let's just go ahead and paste that and connect that to the new merge node. With that node selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in edge. Select edge detect. Then come up here to the mode, select grayscale edges, and then let's select a really cool teal blue like that. I'm also going to turn up the brightness just a little bit and then also come down here to the filters and select filter. So then come back down here to your node window, select that merge node that we just created, come up here to the right hand side and select the apply mode drop down menu and then select screen. Then come down here to the instance rectangle node that we created, take that output and connect it to the input of this merge node like that. Let's zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna bring these two nodes down so we have some room. Then what you wanna do is select the node graph out here so nothing is selected. Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in displace. Go ahead, add a displace node. Hold down shift and then drag that displace node in between the rectangle and the merge here. It will automatically connect. Select anywhere outside of the node viewer again so nothing is selected. Hold down shift and press spacebar, type in fast. Select the fast noise option. Go ahead and connect that fast noise node to the displace. So this is where things get really cool. With the displace node selected, come up here to the refraction strength and let's turn it up to about 0.6 and then select fast noise. Let's go ahead and turn up the contrast and then also the scale. So I'm gonna turn this up almost all the way. And now you can see that this is like creating a kind of like morphing effect with how this is working, which looks really crazy. Now I'm going to actually right click on that displace node, come up here and select copy. I'm going to paste it and drag it in between this instance node and the last merge node. I'm also going to do the same thing with the fast noise. I'm gonna connect that to this displace node. And now that displace node of this edge detect is going to be acting just like the paint on the car. Now I honestly think that proto effect is a little too aggressive here. So I may just kind of wind back the distort offset and the X strength. That looks so crazy. Now for me, my personal taste here is you can kind of see like basically where this wipe is happening. It's kind of cool, but you can always just kind of come in here with the proto effect. You can change it up, but I'm going to see if I can kind of adjust that just a little bit by copying and pasting that exact fast noise and displace node, dragging it here. And now let's see what happens. That looks insane. <laughs> it looks so cool. There are endless possibilities using Proto and adjusting the displace and fast noise nodes. So have fun making your own insane color change effects.